Hi all, welcome to the channel, welcome to the world's world away. We now got stage 13 of Hero Collector and Eagle Mosses, build the Ecto-1. Okay, first off, for the last week or so, the most common question I asked is, did you get the Proton Packs? And the answer is, no, I haven't. I didn't even get payment taken out from him, so uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do at the moment. Obviously, with the lockdown that's on and everything, it's hard to actually get a response at the moment. Uh, but when I get them, uh, I will put them on the channel, but uh, don't hold your breath with that. Uh, I have got up to issue 14 of this, so or stage 14, so that's what I'm going to be doing now. But how is everyone getting on with the lockdown? We're on uh, in the UK. It started Tuesday. Uh, today's Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So this is like the third day. Are you bearing up? <laughs> Has the uh, cabin fever kicked in yet? Is everyone going stir crazy? I'm hoping my videos are lifting you up a little bit. Uh, to that end, I am doing live streams every Thursday while this is going on. So we've got the next live stream tonight uh, and then every Thursday going forward. But there isn't really much to do in this uh, issue. We've actually got the front part of the chassis looking just like that. Now I'm going to take this out because as you can probably expect with the weight it's going to be taking on, this is metal and this is heavy. The painting is really good on it actually as well. Um, I can't really fault it to be honest with you. It looks absolutely brilliant. If anything, I've got a little nick there. I don't know if I'm meant to. Can you see that on the close-up camera? But uh, you're not going to see it. So, uh, but yeah, really impressed with that. Uh, we've got a plastic piece here. Not sure where that goes yet until we look at the instructions. We've got some EM screws and we've also got what I believe is a distributor. Now, not the distributor for the engine. Uh, this is one that's going on the chassis. Not quite sure what that's for. I'm sure someone who's uh, versed up on things like Cadillacs and stuff can tell me why we've got a distributor on the side of the vehicle. That doesn't really make sense to me, but there you go. I, I don't know the old classic vehicles. Let's just show you what we're doing in this issue. As you can see, we're, we're going to be putting that plate on there, which is the cover that's going on the bottom of the chassis there. And then we are going to be putting the distributor just on the side there. And that's all there is to do in this issue. Now, when we get to stage 14, we're going to be uh, assembling the lower suspension arm and doing all the bits towards one of the suspensions. So uh, that's going to be a little bit involved. Actually, that's very involved. Look at that going around there. There's quite a lot to do in that one. So that's going to be coming next week. Now, looking what's coming in the next few issues, we've got some more of the suspension. Looks like we've got an, uh, a uh, anti-roll bar there, another wheel, uh, and I don't know what that is. What is that? I've got no idea, but uh, that's coming as well. But uh, obviously, once again, with the coronavirus hitting everyone at the moment, who knows what we're going to get, when we're going to get it. But uh, without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so quite simply, with the chassis this way round, so we've got this sort of like section here, and everything's facing up. This is where this plastic section is going to go here. Now, as you can see, you've got a sort of lip in there that's going to mirror the lip that you've just got on there. So it's quite easy to see how this is going to go in, just like that. It's going to be held in place with the EM screws. Now, it only gets held in place by two of these. I've got four in the pack, but one of those is going to be used for the distributor. Now it actually goes into the middle of the holes here, not the ones on the outside. So I've just zoomed up my top camera there, so you can see me putting those in. That's the first one. Now, these are uh, what they call uh, self-tapping screws. So what you need to do, because they're going into metal, is put them in halfway, then undo them, take the screw out, and just blow off any of the uh, metal that you've got on it. <laughs> and then put them back in again, and they should go all the way down. I'll do the same with the other side there. I only just realized that when I've put the first one in, because obviously you're cutting into metal, uh, you're also cutting into paintwork as well. <laughs> there we go. And then we'll put that back in. And then that will secure nice and tight to the chassis. A lot of people f think it's funny the way I say chassis as well, chassis. Chassis. I've always said chassis. <laughs> anyway, so that's going to look like that when that's in. Now turning it round, we've got these two lugs just on this side here. This is where the distributor is going to go. I'm going to get this out the pack. Now this is a little plastic detail looking like that from one side and on the other side. Sort of like got a, uh, a lug just at the top there. It's actually that side with the lug that we need to face up. So this is going to go on here just like that with the distributor pointing towards this side of the chassis. So once again, that's going to be held in with an EM screw. 
So I'm gonna put the screw in halfway under it. <laughs> blow off the uh, shavings that I've got there and then put it in all the way. And you can see, nice and tight, not moving anywhere, believe it or not. That is all we have to do in that issue. But uh, this looks really impressive. Now eventually, this engine is gonna be going on here, probably like that. I'm just taking a wild guess at this. Uh, someone did mention about these wires here, cut them down, but the, the, the idea that I like is putting some 15 amp fuse cable through these wires, plugging them back in, and then they'll be able to be molded. So I can actually tidy them up into every area that I'd like to put them in. Uh, the other thing to make note, and I've put them on the screen here, um, I've got to thank one of my viewers, Doc, uh, for sending me this, that obviously we plug these into the distributor cap there, and I'm gonna try and turn this around so you can see the distributor, but obviously that's not the firing order that it needs to be. If we wanna change the firing order, uh, then just follow the information down the bottom there so you can connect each plug up to the correct point of the distributor so that you've got the correct firing order. I haven't done that yet. That's something I'm probably gonna do in post-production, uh, but that's where we are so far with the vehicle. So that was a nice quick one, wasn't it? <laughs> nice and easy. Listen, I can't wait to see you all tonight on the live stream. I'm so sorry that I've uh, put a suspension on the uh, giveaway for the minute, but I think in the current climate with the logistics and even the manufacturing of the parts at the moment, it's probably the best thing to do. But hopefully we will be running that later in the year when all of this craziness is blown over. I hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care and stay safe.